This past weekend, the first new build of the JISC in about six months was released to the public, and I'll be using this video to go over some of its biggest changes. Now, I am using the Canary build of Majisk right now, and while it does not have an official version yet, you can see it's set as version 23010, which is common for the Canary builds. It is suspected that this will be released as version 24 of Majisk. Either that or it will be released as version 1 of Zygist. Now, Zygist or Zygist is a new term coined by the developer of Majisk, and it looks to be the next chapter in his root tool for Android. If you are wanting to try out this version of Majisk on your device that is currently already rooted, you're going to need to go into the settings and change the update channel to Canary, and then let the application update not only itself, but also update the root binaries as well. I installed this Canary APK downloaded that I downloaded from the GitHub page, and then I went and rooted the boot image for the Google Pixel 4a that way that you can see Android 12 is now officially supported. Now there are some major changes happening with this version of Majisk, including support for 64-bit only systems and the removal of Majisk Hide. Now, as most modern Android devices are already on a 64-bit system, it's actually the latter change here that is the one many people are upset about right now. For many, the removal of Majisk Hide means that their banking applications will no longer work. This will also prevent workarounds that people have used for many other applications and games including Pokemon Go. But in the grand scheme of things, this has been a long time coming. Over the last couple of years, the developer of Majisk had really stopped evolving this feature as extensively as before. This does not mean that Majisk won't be able to bypass these things in the future. It just means that the developer is working on getting Majisk, quote, out of the way when it comes to hiding the process from third-party applications. Instead of the Majisk application itself being responsible for this, in the future with this new build of Majisk, specifically designed modules will be able to utilize a new feature called Deny List as a way to hide things from those troublesome apps. Now another big change in this release of Majisk is the removal of the Majisk module repository. This used to be built into the application itself, but it's something the developer has been wanting to do away with for a while, and it's finally happening, happening with this release. We will still be able to install modules ourselves, we're just going to need to download these Majisk modules from a source and then install them manually. Now, Zygist or Zygist is another new term that you'll see in the updated app, as I mentioned before, and it means Majisk in Zygote. You can see here it is not enabled by default. So to turn this feature on, we're going to need to go into the settings. Look down a little bit until you see the Majisk category, the Majisk section, and you should see a Zygist toggle here. Once turned on, you are instructed to reboot the phone in order to apply changes, because even though this is enabled, it's still not enabled until we reboot. 
So let's go ahead and restart the phone. And similarly to enabling a Magisk module, when we enable the Zygist feature, we need to reboot the phone in order for the changes to take effect. So once enabled and the phone is rebooted, you'll see the indication that Zygist is on in the front page of the Magisk app. With this enabled, it will make Magisk modules even more powerful as it will allow some parts of Magisk to be run in the Zygote. So you can compare this type of feature to full-on mods that are currently already available on Android like Reru and LS Exposed, aka Exposed Framework. So you're going to see this Zygist feature works similarly to those mods and it's something that I'm really looking forward to once it has become more a more developed feature and it is widely supported by the developer community. So with Zygist enabled when we go into the settings we are now able to enforce the deny list feature so we're going to need to toggle that on as well. But again, we're also going to need to configure the deny list, which once we go into, will just give us a list of the apps and services we have installed. So if we wanted to deny the Crossy Road app, not only are we going to tap on this box, we can also drop down that box to get multiple package names that we can block for the Crossy Road application. So these are the main changes happening in the upcoming stable release of Magisk. The developer is likely going to continue tinkering with this build for the next probably week or so, maybe even month or so, before an official stable release gets pushed out. Now, for many of you, you'll be able to continue using the older versions of Magisk. However, as time progresses, there's going to be more and more changes happening to the Android system. And eventually, such as for Android 12, you will need to update to the latest version of Magisk in order to get the full feature set that it offers.